This is Jake from PokerDataMine.net and this is my guide to automatic data mining on Party Poker using IdleMiner. If you haven't watched my video explaining how to data mine using IdleMiner, I, I highly recommend that you do this first um, since I'm not going to go through the basics here. Um, if you don't have IdleMiner already or haven't uh, missed the first video, you can find them at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash party dash poker so I'm gonna launch idle miner here and now I'm gonna select the stakes that I would like idle miner to datamine for me um, I would like to datamine one yeah L200 no limit and I would like to do so on tables with a minimum um, excuse me a minimum of five players and you can select more um, detailed things but uh, for this um, video I'll just like do something simple so I'm gonna just data mining a single stakes here and just a simple requirement and I'll also go into options and make sure that manual operations mode is turned off I'll just click it right here and now you can see now it's now it's turned off and now I will click start and <coughs> And what will happen now is that IdleMiner is launching the Party Poker client, and it will also, if you have uh, set Party Poker up to um, remember your password, it will also automatically log in. I recommend that if that you don't do this unless uh, it's an account that you only use for data mining. And it'll just be a little while here while uh, IdleMiner is opening up four tables. I'll show you how to set that up before. Yeah, it's. Um, Party Poker is pretty persistent in trying to get me to deposit on my uh, my account that I use for data mining. It's kind of annoying, but well. And now that we've got the four tables going, I'll just go back to Isle Miner and show you how it works. Um, you can see here, if you want to data mine more tables, you can press this button here. So it'll go to nine to six. I'll just go down again before it opens more tables, and you can see in the top right corner here you can see that it is listing the four different tables that is data mining and below that you can see a status window where it says that it is running and it's currently data mining four tables it has been running for one minute and it currently hasn't data mined any hands so let's just wait a second here and see if this works yeah you can see that the first hand came I will just pause the video for a little while here while um, Idleman is gathering a little more I call more hand histories. We are back after around 80 minutes, and as you can see, 556 hands has been data mined. So I'll just stop it here. I'll do this by clicking on stop and kill party poker because this will um, shut down party poker, and I don't need it anymore right now. And before I go into hole manager and import the hand histories, I'll just show you a quick little feature here. It's um, Basically, Idle Miner can be set as your screensaver. So, whenever you leave your computer and your screensaver goes on, um, Idle Miner will automatically start in the background and start data mining party poker, which can be extremely handy if you don't really have the time to data mine yourself. So you can like just leave your computer on, and then uh, when when like you go to the grocery store or something, and when you come back, you'll have a whole lot of hand histories. So I will shut down Idle Miner too and open holder manager I go down here and select import from folder and I am data mining to a directory called party poker HH on my desktop so I'll select it in here and clicking OK and now you can see that whole manager has started to import the hands and it will just be a couple of seconds here and that's it as you can see it's uh, a little more than five I run 56 hands. It probably grabbed a couple more after I um, stopped talking. If you enjoyed this video and would like to know more about data mining or get out of my party poker like I used in the video, you can go to my website at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash party dash poker.